Rise and shine, sleepyheads. This is Shane Baldwin bringing you all the latest news from your neighborhood. The third highest rated public access morning show in Southern California, it's Good Morning Agrestic. Good morning, Agrestic. It's 4.30 a.m. Do you know where your children are? Well, I know where mine is. She's at the hotel with my soon-to-be ex-wife. Dean and Celia are getting divorced. Hi there. I'm single. And I'm Pam. And you're watching something nobody else is. Do you feel special about yourself? What time is it? Why are you Dean, up? Dean, our ratings are pretty good, comparatively speaking. Well, with so much going on Like the Agrestic High Car Wash this weekend. Come out and help our community college-bound youngsters raise money for the prom. From noon to 4.30, they'll be sudsing it up. Beep, beep. Also, the city council meeting is next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Please say hi to my delightful ex-wife. We're discussing, what, uh, community laws regarding the acceptable size of hot tubs. Every voice counts. Oh, look, and it'll be a heated debate. Ha, ha, ha. So be prepared to, to cool, cool your, your jets. jets. Ha, ha. Today in a segment called Our Borders Ourselves, the Immigration Debate in Agrestic, we look forward to another hot topic. What is with the hot today? Seriously. I Shane. I didn't, right? Today we're going to talk about how Mexicans manage to sneak into our communities. And to talk about it with us, we have a real Mexican, Lupita. Hola! Hola. How are you? <laughs> oh, Dios mío, pobrecita, esta mujer es una idiota. How are you? Cool. She's speaking Mexican. I speak Spanish. She's speaking Spanish. So, Lupita, tell me, how did you sneak into our community? Uh, actually, I think what it means to say is, um, how did you manage to wind up working here in Agreste? Well, like everyone else, I read the newspaper, I see a job, and then I make a phone call. No problem. <laughs> no problema. No, what I, I'm sorry. What I mean, what I mean to say is, how, how did you wind up here in the United States? Oh, by car. Oh, was it an El Camino? Those <laughs> look so weird. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, oh, okay. I am from <laughs> El Salvador, and I come in from Mexico. I arrived here with my my brother and my sister and my nephew and my cousin in a Toyota. Did you have any trouble crossing the border? Excuse me? <laughs> Please, when I jumped out of the car, I was wearing this cute little dress and this big flip block high heels. Oh. The border patrol very, very nice to me. No problemas. No problemas. You, you're bilingual? Un poquito. Oh, muy I know, poquito. I know she was bi for a little while. Listen, the question I have for you, though, is what do you think um, about the whole congressional idea to fortify and build a larger wall? Vale madre eso. No, it will never work. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, I don't quite see why, though, because it's, you know, 200 miles long. I mean, it's going to be a big wall. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you are so funny, what? because the Mexican border is 2,000 miles long, almost. You can sail around it, and if you get bored, you can jump the fence, and if you don't want to get dirty, then you can get a fake passport and wear a Dallas cowboy hat and go through the checkpoint, no problem. No problema! <laughs> there you go, no problem. Okay, let's change, let's change gears. Maybe. So tell me, Lupita, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, in my spare time, I like to dance salsa. Oh. And you know, it's... it's look at that. It's, oh, oh. You look at that, it, yes. And, and then wow. I like to do this move oh, because goodness. it keeps my waistline as small. And I also, if I want to look domestic, I like to knit. Oh. And I also like to play cards for money. And I also like to go to, to watch my nephew at, at the Little League. Oh, your nephew plays in Little League. That's great. No, 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 pobrecito. They don't let him play. But you know what? He cleaned the dog out for tip money. Oh. I teach him that. Oh, well, isn't that the American dream, huh? He gets to, to build himself up, you know, earning a little money on his own. Yeah. That's great. Yes. Good for him. It, Good for it, him. it is his dream as it is mine. Is it yours? <laughs> well, it's really more my dream to inherit money. Oh, I like <laughs> to inherit the wind. That's all I can inherit because I don't have anyone to inherit from. <laughs> no problem. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, you're happy well, now. I think it's terrific that your Mexican family is following their dream in our community. Salvador. Your El Salvadoran family thank is you following very much. their dream in our community. And I want to thank you for yes. the time that you've spent on our show. You're very as welcome. A gift, you're very welcome. I got you a, oh. a traditional a piñata, oh, which oh, is yes. a traditional party decoration of um, Mexico. And I don't know if, about El Salvador. This is a very and big piñata, man. I, I filled it with tiny sombreros that really? I, I stole them from the tops of tequila bottles. You stole them, I you did. see, and you I talk know. about me being a sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought you could use them as decorations if you have a party or for hats for your children or pets. Oh, how about if I pin them on your sorry ass? I would, oh.
<laughs> okay. Like let's uh, let's head over to Doug in the weather. Doug, why don't you tell us what's going on here in Agrestic's weather? Will it be sunny in 78 for the 26th day in a row? The answer might surprise you. Doesn't surprise me. Another gorgeous stretch of weather here in our glorious white bread neighborhood. Crystal clear blue skies. I want to do the weather too with you today. It's hot. Andy Botman, ladies and gentlemen. High five. Yeah. Wow. It's hot out there, isn't it? Uh, it's about the same. Yeah. Who let the hot out? Who? Hot. There's all the stuff. Usually on TV, there's a bunch of suns and stuff. Yeah. What are you smoking? I'm not smoking. Back to you guys. Well, besides the weather, you never know what you're going to get around here, huh? Imagine if we were live. You're live, Pam. Join us tomorrow, live on Good Morning Agrestic.